So this question is a diagram question, right? So we know that just because of the diagram that's provided here. So what I'd like to do and what I suggest you do is anytime a question provides a diagram that you take, you know, five, 10 seconds or so to just make sure you understand how the information is provided before reading anything. So I see here, this is Maryland's hike. The X axis looks like it's times of the day, separate separated one hour in one hour increments. And the Y axis is the distance from campsite. So it looks like at 12, she was at the campsite. And then, you know, at by one, she was about 1.3 or so miles from the campsite. It looks like she probably took a break right here, right? Because it doesn't go up at all. And then by two, she was at a little bit over 1.5 miles from the campsite. And it looks like she starts to come back to the campsite, right? Because by three o'clock, she's back at zero miles from campsite, which just means she's back at the campsite. All right, so now I'm going to read. The graph above shows Marilyn's distance from her campsite during a three-hour hike. She stopped for 30 minutes during her hike to have lunch. Okay, it looks like that's here. So I'm just going to call that lunch there. Um, based on the graph, which of the following is closest to the time she finished lunch and continued her hike? Oh, well, because I already took some time to pay attention to this diagram, I know that this flat, and let me just erase this so we can see it more clearly. I know that this kind of uh, flat, stagnant point in time ends about there. So in terms of time, it's about here, which, you know, if this is 1 p.m. and this is 2 p.m., then I say this is about 1.30, halfway in. So this is about 1.45. The closest that I see to 1.45 is 1.40 p.m. So the best answer here is choice C.